Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm doing a training exercise um, and a demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put five shots on that first target, and then one shot on every target going down the line for a total of five shots. Oh, sorry, a total of ten shots. So five on the first one, and then five on the other targets. Um, I'm about I'm at about ten or fifteen feet away here. Uh, those targets are at their widest point; they're about three inches wide. So there is, you know, I pretty much had, you know, I put 10 shots out there, I got 10 hits, but I was able to go a lot faster on that first target, right? I got those five shots on that first target uh, because I wasn't moving around. You know, once I got my sights on target, my hands were fixed, and I'm basically just squeezing the trigger, you know, and I'm drilling into that, into that first target. When I started going down the line, right, and I'm putting one shot on each target, you know, shot on a target, move, shot on a target, move, shot on a target, move. Um, what happened was, you know, yes, I was I was effective. I was hitting the targets, but at the same time, I had to slow down considerably uh, in order to be able to hit the targets. Okay, so um, this does a couple of things for us. Number one, it tells us that it is, you know, it's obviously it's easier to just stand there and fire away, uh, and it's more difficult to be, you know, to, to be moving, um, to basically to be shooting at different targets down the road. Okay, uh, which lends credence to this idea of sidestepping you know and drawing the fire uh, because as you can see it is more difficult for somebody to track you okay if you're forcing somebody to move you know they're either gonna miss or they gotta slow down enough or basically they gotta think about what you're doing so 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 there's definitely an advantage if you have to draw especially if you're on the fire it makes sense to sidestep um, you know and draw while you shoot okay so so that makes sense now, what I want to do, um, you know, basically for training purposes, is I'm now I'm going to shoot again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two shots on the target, two shots on the first one, then two shots on the next one, and go down the line until I've fired a, ten, a total of 10 shots. So what I'm doing is, is I'm training myself to be able to shoot down the line, because a lot of times when we go to these ranges, you know, you only get one lane, target's right in front of you. All you can do is basically you sit there with your arms fixed, and you're just pulling the trigger, and, and, and realistically, once you line up the sights and fix your arms in this position, you can close your eyes and, and you know, you'll probably get on the paper, you know. Um, it becomes a little bit more difficult when you're, when you, when you have to move down the line and hit different targets. So this is an important part of people's training that I think a lot of people are missing. Um, you know, a lot of it has to do with range limitations, okay. Uh, but, you, you know, you need to seek out uh, ranges and seek out opportunities where you can do this type of training where you're not just shooting at a single paper that's not moving direct in front of you. You have to be able to go down the line, you know, and go back and forth, you know, and fire one shot there, one shot there, you know, and move back and forth like that. So let me do a, a reload here. And what I'm looking to do, again, is two shots per target, you know, two shots on the target and move down to the next one. Two shots on the target, move down to the next one. So, definitely a little bit more challenging than staying on one target. You're going to get misses, um, and what I think people should do, like, if, you know, if your goal is two shots on the target and move down the line, it doesn't matter if you get two misses. Move down to the next target. You know, just get used to this idea of, you know, shoot your target and move on. Shoot your target move on. Because, again, you know, those targets are only about three inches wide. Uh, at this distance, if you were shooting at a man at a man-sized target, you, you would have had the hits. Um... So we're trying to get better at this, and, and the way we get better is by setting up something that's a little bit more challenging, you know, something like those small little poppers. They're only about 12 inches high. They're about 3 inches wide at their widest point. Um, so, so, you know, at, at, at you know, 10 to 15 feet, those are going to be quite challenging. I mean, yes, you know, a lot of times I'll back up and I'll shoot them at, at, at 30 feet or 50 feet. Uh, but again, we're shooting them with the arms fixed, you know, shooting at a station, you know, at a single one. But when you start going from one to the other, one to the other, start moving around, it becomes a little bit more difficult. And, and, and the difficult part is really what we need to focus on. Whatever is hardest 
is what we need to practice the most. Uh, let me know what you think of this drill. Thanks for watching.